At this point, we've done so many attractions and activities all across the state. We often get questions about how we can afford to do all of the things that we do on our channel. We want to tell you all about how you can vacation in Florida affordably this year. Hi and welcome to Aiken Adventures! Where we're taking you to do all the best things in all the best places all around Florida and beyond. It's fall time so we're heading to the pumpkin patch to take some pictures together as a family. So to answer the question, we actually ended up writing several blog articles, which we've included on our website, and they got so many clicks. So we thought that maybe a video about it on our channel would be really helpful to people. A lot of our best hacks and best advice are actually included in the description of nearly all of our videos. But without a little bit of guidance, you probably wouldn't know what you're looking for. So here's what all of those links are. What letter are you learning in school? The first thing that I recommend that you do is that you save up for the trip. My favorite savings tool for short-term savings, but also receiving some return from investment, is acorns. <laughs> That's why we include an acorns referral code in all of our video descriptions. Acorns works by rounding up your purchases on connected accounts and cards to the next nearest dollar and then depositing the cents into the Acorns account. W, X, Y, and Z. See all the pumpkins? Yeah. Sweet. Oh, that's cool. You'd be surprised how much money can accumulate over the course of a year. Hey, Piercy. Ready to go see the pumpkins? <laughs> Piercy kind of looks like a pumpkin. What do you think? You think Piercy? <laughs> and actually, I love to use Acorns for our retirement account and also for our kids' college savings. This account was very easy to set up. And I'm not a financial advisor, so you have to do your own due diligence, but I really do like being able to do all of those things in one place. Check the referral code below. You'll get $5 just for signing up. And then if you can get several other people to sign up, then sometimes, I think it's like five people in a month, uh, you'll get like $1,000. They run specials like that sometimes. Or three people within a certain period of time, you get $300. Hey, hey. The next area where you're really gonna wanna try to save is on fuel. And one of my favorite ways to do that is get upside. With Upside, you can save on every gallon of gas and then that money accumulates over time and then you can redeem those for gift cards. The app is really simple to use. All you do is open it, look for a gas station nearby that participates. It usually doesn't feel like fall in October in Florida, but this year it has been really nice. Possibly the most expensive thing that you're gonna pay for on your vacation though are your accommodations. So one of the ways that we save on this though is credit cards. And I know, I can hear Dave Ramsey yelling at me too. He's so slimy. There's a, there's a few things. You need to take a shower after watching. It just drips in arrogance. But honestly, most hotel brands and chains have their own dedicated credit card. And there's usually an initial offering that if you spend to a certain threshold at the beginning, that you'll get enough points to earn you several nights stay. The way that we typically set this up, and once again, I'm not a financial advisor, is that we pay all of our recurring bills with the credit cards and then over time we accumulate enough points to be able to stay at a hotel anytime we choose. We'll place some of our favorite referral codes in the description below. Now, even though credit cards are one of our favorite ways to save on accommodations, another really great resource is booking.com. I consider this to be one of the best resources when it comes to booking a long week of vacation. You can get seven days for about 500 bucks. Of course, uh, prices can go up and down from there, but that's usually my target range. And of course, since you're coming to Florida, one of the things that you're really going to want to do is to find activities to do together as a family. And we all know that these can be pricey. If you're looking to do a fun, wide variety of things that's not theme parks, there are actually several attraction tickets that are available through Groupon that group together various experiences and you can buy them in combos of two, three, four, or five experiences. Or you can choose to do one, two, three, four, or five days worth of attractions. They're usually labeled something like Explorer Pass or All-Inclusive Pass. 
The Explorer Passes tend to group the attractions together in combos of two, three, four, or five. And the all-inclusive passes allow for you to do multiple attractions at any one day as long as you pay for multiple days. And these can be really great deals that will get you into places like Legoland and the Kennedy Space Center, on airboat tours, and so much more. Now what if you actually do want to go to the theme parks? Well, did you know that Groupon actually sells passes to the theme parks as well for SeaWorld, Universal, Busch Gardens, and Legoland, most of the water parks? You can often get deals which are much lower than if you purchase the tickets directly from the theme park companies themselves. And don't forget to also check Groupon for discounted museum tours, botanical gardens, and plenty of other things are on there as well. Groupon even has full vacation packages available. Now Disney World I know is one of the most expensive theme parks that you can go to really in the entire country, but especially in Florida. My favorite way to save on Disney World passes is to purchase them through UndercoverTourist.com. And honestly, Undercover Tourist is a really great resource for all of your Florida travel needs. You'll actually save the most when you bundle your car rental, your accommodations, and your theme park tickets in the same purchase. And UndercoverTourist.com also sells tickets, not just for Disney World, but SeaWorld, Legoland, Universal, and all of the major theme parks. Someone recommended Undercover Tourist to us when we came down to Florida on our honeymoon and I'm so glad that they did because we've used Undercover Tourist for so many years since then in order to access the theme parks. Also in the Disney space, if you're fully committed to taking a Disney vacation, then be sure to get the Disney Chase Visa. You'll be able to earn points which are redeemable for a lot of different kinds of Disney purchases including merchandise and food which food costs in the Disney parks can get really expensive. We were able to pay for a lot of our Disney food ranking videos just from the points we earned from using this credit card. If you happen to also want to stay on Disney property and are not sure how you can do that affordably, then check out dvcreservations.com. All right, the real question is, did you have a great time? Yes, I did. Did you have a great time? Oh, it was okay. <laughs> we got lots of cute pictures of the kids with pumpkins and that's all that I really wanted. I'm happy. Now we have to go convince Vivian that it's time to go. It's time to go. Can you say goodbye? Oh, you want a pumpkin? Okay, let's see if we can take one home.